Hi, I'm Brad, and this is me delving a little bit deeper into the new SteamVR beta. I know I recently did a video showing a lot of strings, but I actually want to show some features that we've been able to activate within SteamVR beta as well. One thing I actually just found this morning, and I probably will find even more stuff as time goes on. But let's take a look at some of the newer settings. So currently I'm using the Valve Index to show off all the settings, and there's a lot of things in here that are not meant for the Index. It's very clear. I've talked a little bit about system settings, again it looks very similar to the Steam Deck UI, and is clearly meant for whatever next headset Valve is planning to release, or work on, or whatever they're doing. There's not too much to go over here, but there is some interesting things such as an XR service calibration. And of course, these are all the Wi-Fi internet settings, and again, these are only accessible if you change some files within SteamVR itself. Again, the idea is that you'll be able to create a, uh, a access point on your PC, which your new wireless Wi-Fi enabled headset, standalone headset, uh, would be able to connect to easily. Currently, from what I looked into the strings, this only really works uh, with the Linux system. I'm sure they're going to add uh, Windows functionality, but for now, yeah, they wanted to give the hints that, yeah, we are still caring about our Steam OS Hollow support and all that garbage. Now, there's something here that was really shocking. Uh, in the new Valve internal settings, this was also something I had to sort of mess around with. There is a new developer panel overlay. Um, and if you click the dev panel, you get all these neat little things. There's not too many uh, notable things here, except this cool debug punt pointer. I, I like that, I don't know why. But you can see stuff like base station info, where they are, that's not important. But up here, start room setup. Oh yeah, let's get into that right away. Now, it's a little buggy, and clearly very experimental in the current state that it's in, but you can see here, hello there, to give you the best virtual reality experience and keep you safe, we need to find a few things about your room. Let's start with your floor is. Please touch the floor with one of your controllers and click done. If you rather estimate the floor's position from your own height, you can click the use my height button. For now, I'm just gonna do the uh, thing where I click touch the floor and then I click done. And uh, yeah, this act, this part actually works very well. It, 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 does the thing it's supposed to. Now you can also set the forward direction, so I'm just gonna stare at one wall and click this. Bam, there I go. Now one thing I noticed is it doesn't have me in the center of the room. Again, this is very experimental, but um, let's show how we actually set up the walls, which is a very interesting way I've not seen before. There is one little note I wanna mention here is because you're supposed to reach out your hands both different ways, and it will actually expand the space. Let me reset walls to show off that better. So when I reset the walls, you can see it gives you a very tight little space here that you're able to play VR. And the way to expand the space is literally to stretch out your arms at different directions. Now it's very strange because uh, you usually don't want to stretch out your arms when you're in VR only. My estimate here is that normally when you go through this feature, they will activate some mixed reality cameras on the new headset so you can actually see where you're reaching your arms when you're setting up this space. I don't think that this is meant to be shown only in a VR setting, but it is a very cool feature and it does what it's supposed to do. However, this little uh, dialogue will not be able to go away, but that's okay. I'm just gonna show off a few more things real quick. Well, at least the recenter button works. I talked a little bit about a uh, actual theater mode. We also found a way to enable that. There isn't really too much to it right now. It's uh, pretty simple. It darkens the room and it gives you a very large uh, theater to actually work with here. And you can resize it, you'll be able to curve it, uh, pretty much do whatever you want. But the more notable thing is with this theater mode, there's already strings in the beta that allow you to basically open uh, when you open a flat screen app, that app ID can actually set it to automatically open with the theater mode. So again, it's all really kind of pointing to the fact that they want people to start playing flat games in VR more, uh, maybe because there's going to be more comfortable headsets with higher resolution displays that can take advantage of that feature. 
They also have settings that are not working right now. I couldn't get them working, but they're related to uh, high quality reflections. So whatever the actual screen is uh, giving off, there'll be a very neat reflection going on in your room.